All right, this is the book of Hosea chapter one, starting at verse 10. Yet the number of children of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. Then shall the children of Judah, the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head and they shall come up out of the land for great shall be the day of Jezreel. With that giving all praise, glory and honor that's due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachach, Wadash, and double honor to the elders and apostles that are most on who are well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect and Shalom. Barak Atham. I'm going to title this lesson. Um, we are the number one stock pick all right um, we are the number one stock pick all right and the uh, inspiration basically for this lesson is i was meditating on a few things i saw a few videos earlier that and and i had a couple encounters you know today as well too that made me realize how undervalued the israelite man is and when you really think about it, how many precepts that goes into the very thing that I just said, that we're going to be the number one stock pick. You can read Isaiah 4 and 1, how women are going to value us. All right. You can read uh, Isaiah, I forget the exact chapter, I think it's uh, Isaiah 13. Uh, he will make a man more precious than fine gold, a hiding place from the wind. All right. And it's not just going to be Israelite men all over the world, we're gonna have the number one value, man. It's not even gonna be close, all right? So it's an exhortation and an uplifting message to the brothers that are continuing the faith, man, no matter how it looks like right now, no matter how bad it looks, we are, are orders of magnitude more valuable than them because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has said so, man. When the Lord selected you man it really doesn't matter what the current state of, of, of that you're in right now the lord chose you you're 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 chosen man all right and that's something to take to take solace in all right because it's real easy to look at out in the world and just catch an l after l after l you know your woman's giving you problems you straighten that out and then your job is you know disrupting your life you straighten that out and then the money demon jumps on you, all right? <laughs> you know, and, and, and it's just one thing after another. But all of the suffering is worth it because of what our value is, man, all right? You know, it's like that, uh, we brought this up a couple months back, man. It's like that show, Undercover Boss, all right? You already know you're in charge, <laughs> you know, where I'm speaking about the reality show where the CEO of a company would basically act like a regular employee and you have to walk around and you know work the cash registers and things of that nature of the company that he ran all right and it was a humbling experience for them but that's how we are man all right we walk around with the confidence knowing that we're over everybody else and we're over the people that we have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis because they've chosen to do the wrong thing they chose like the scriptures say they've chosen to do things that the Lord did not delight in, man. All right? They chose things that they knew the Lord is not with. Okay? So they have a prize, and they're getting it right now. All right? Our prize comes later. Okay? But if you bet on the Israelite man, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, if you're a woman and you're really good to a man that's in the faith, that's in the truth, that is the best investment that you can possibly make, man. All right? Because people don't really picture or frame it in their mind how really bad it's going to get out here, man. You're going to have women out here uh, uh, selling themselves entirely for like a bottle of water, man. People don't understand economics, how prices work. You, you're thinking in your mind right now, I would never do that. A bottle of water is only a dollar, you know? Thinking of how things are today. But, but, but if you're in a drought, if you're in a desert, the price of bottled water goes way, way up, man. All right? And most people are trained to think about things in dollars. They're all, they're all programmed. But the point is, is things that are uh, the 
value that's shown today is not the value that's gonna be shown tomorrow, all right? They say one man's trash is another man's treasure. Well, we are objectively a treasure, man, yet Esau has thrown us in the trash. He's relegated us to the bottom of society, and all he does is, is siphon the, the life force out of us, man, okay? Our creative spirit. And he basically milks it, you know? So when we, when we are, uh, when we're looking at things out in the world, that's how we have to look at ourselves, man. We're looking at a stock that's only worth a dollar right now, but we already know it's gonna be worth a million per share, you know? And I'm saying an arbitrary number, but there's really no value that's gonna be on a man of the Lord over, over one of the elect. Every, every, uh, every idea that you can even fantasize about you know, whether it be in movies or science fiction, the Lord has promised that and, and that much greater, all right, to us. And it's a hard thing to believe, but that's why it's written also all throughout the scriptures. <laughs> you know, when we would get delivered, they were gonna be amazed at the, at the strangeness of our salvation. Why are they gonna be amazed? Because they're gonna value us as a stock worth a dollar, all right, not realizing that we're the stock they should have bet on the whole time. If you bet against, Israelites, man, that's that's a guaranteed L right there, man. All right, <laughs> so that that's already written that they were gonna look at us crazy, you know. Like, are they, these are the people that are most high, you know. So people are already counting us out, you know. They're already, you know, uh, uh, licking their chops, thinking they're gonna be next after the the, the West goes down, or what they call the West. All right. But they're, they're not, they, they didn't consider prophecy, man. And that's why we're occupied in prophecy. So we're, we're not under any disillusion about what's gonna happen next. And I'll be honest with you, man, just knowing what's gonna happen next is gonna be an extremely valuable thing. Wait till your family members start reading the news and they can't leave their houses because things are locked down. They're, they're gonna want information. What's happening next? They're gonna be calling you. You're gonna change your number. They're gonna get the number. <laughs> Somebody else, man, they still call you. Because, because just knowing what's happening, knowing what's going on, is gonna be extremely valuable, man. You don't understand how much value you have in just knowing the scriptures, man, and being occupied in, in the prophecy, man. We saw an example of that when the Hawaii brothers were out there when that when that that, uh, that missile threat hit in Hawaii, man. People thought the the the, uh, the missile defense system activated in Hawaii, you know, it's supposed to activate if there's like a threat of a nuke or some other kind of long range missile. All right, it activated and everybody bugged the fuck out. You had hundreds of thousands of people <laughs> on the brother's YouTube page, man. All right, and, and that's how it's gonna be, but on a much, much, much larger scale. Women I mean, you've dealt with that, that wrote you off, that did you bad, all right? You thought you, you know, you, they deleted your number. They're gonna go back and find your number and text you. You're like, what's up? They're gonna call you, all right? And and that's what the Lord is doing, man. He He's watching everybody that didn't look that looked down upon us all right that didn't feed us when we were poor didn't didn't give us water when we were thirsty like we were committed to do what Yahweh shot they, they didn't do anything for us man the lord is taking record of all of that and when the time comes when the, when the script flips <laughs> all right there, there's going to be a cutoff man all right so you know as men just focus on being a man don't worry about how many women are checking for you? Don't worry about how many, uh, uh, how, how much money a uh, wicked nigga is getting above you. Don't worry about the promotions they're giving to the Edomite at your job over you. All right, let let them have it at the end of the day. Hustle, grind, do what you got to do, but but don't forego your spirit. Don't forego, you know that, uh, you know, don't lose your fire, man, for the Lord. You know, worrying about these things. These things are really not to be worried about, you know. I was, you know, through the spirit, the Lord's let me uh, get a, a decent job, you know, here. But if they take it, man, that, it is what it is. That's that's the win on this side, man. This this is not a win overall, man. All right. It feels like it because our flesh is so so damn tired, <laughs> you know. But really, it's not a win. The higher up you go in this world, man, the the, the more of a liability you start to become to the body, all right? The more the more avenues and vectors of attack that Satan has on you, you know? Because money is a very powerful demon to overcome, all right? And 
that's why I use the uh, the analogy of the stock man because that's one thing Jake understands. <laughs> all right, is money. Okay, now stock isn't necessarily money, but it's in it's in the realm of finance. All right, you understand what I'm saying? Okay, so there's plenty of precepts that back up the fact that we're gonna be on the low. We're gonna have to take the L for a long time. All right. Our enemies are gonna get the better of us. They're even gonna scoff and mock us during the process. The same thing that, that happened with with, with, uh, with the Howard shot, man. When he took up that cross, man, he was getting mocked, he was getting ridiculed by people way below him. Yahweh Shai is literally the king of the universe, all right? And he suffered people mocking him, scoffing at him, all right? He got beat, tortured, man, all right? And, and then what happened after he did that? That's a wrap. Yahweh Shai does not have to worry about any pain ever again, okay? Once he gave up the spirit and he got that body, that was a wrap, man. And that's that's what we're gonna get. Okay? Once we get those bodies, that's gonna be a wrap, man. Alright? So I'll, I'll end it there, man. Lord willing, this is edifying. Call for Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bahasham Rahapadash. Shalom.